flat bit, spade bit, drill bit, whatever you want to call it, this is how to use it. Hey what's up guys, it's your man JB and thanks for checking out this video and if you're new to my channel why don't you go ahead and subscribe, that'll be fantastic. Right, let's get to it. So if you've got a spade bit or a flat bit or you've even got a set like this then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to use it, how not to use it and what we can use them for. So here's a couple of spade bit sets that I've got and they're all basically the same to be honest. This is a budget set, they're still pretty good, they've got a nice tip on them and this is a DeWalt set and these are really good, these are really fast cutting and, and they're a bit more premium where they are premium compared to these ones here. Now whether you've got a £5 set of spade bits or a £30 set of spade bits, essentially they both do the same thing. So here's one from my cheaper set and here's one from my more expensive set. So they are pretty similar, uh, this one's wider along the shank here, uh, they've both got these tips on them, this one's got these little edges here that kind of stick up, this one hasn't, these are actually angled or beveled, so uh, there you go, they do look different, they've both got these hex bits on the bottom as well so you can actually fix those into your impact driver. Some spade bits, even cheaper ones, won't even have this bit on so you have to put them in a drill but generally I put them in a drill anyway. So if you are using a bit like this with a hex end make sure that the flat section of the spade bit gets gripped by the teeth in the chuck. Now basically your spade bits are for making large diameter holes in timber just like this. And done pretty quickly as well. One of the common larger sizes is a 32 millimeter spade bit. So you can see these DeWalt spade bits, they cut so quickly and uh, they're really sharp and leave a clean cut. So let's take a look at this slightly cheaper spade bit and just compare the speed of the cut. They're definitely slower, still a good cut nice and clean, nothing wrong with that at all, but that was definitely slower than that one. Your spade bits will generally go down to about a 10 or maybe 8 millimeter diameter, any less than that and you may as well just use a standard drill bit. But let's just have a look at this 10 mil spade bit. Being a much smaller diameter that drilled that hole really quickly. It's also a good idea to use a spade bit at a high speed, so if you've got it in your drill, make sure you've got it on the drill setting and speed 2 as well. Try and get the fastest speed you can. If you go slow with it, it's just not as effective. And it takes longer, it's still okay, but it just takes longer, so just go fast. Just like that. One of the things that a spade bit can do if you're not holding it tight enough is snatch and kind of really yank your arm and wrist. Oh, just like that. So uh, do hold the grip nice and tight and apply downward pressure from the top of the drill. Spade bits are commonly used to sink large bolt heads or screw heads like this into a piece of timber. So you can drill that out, make sure that the bolt sinks deep enough and then you can drill the hole through. Now in this example you would use the spade bit first, then you would drill the rest of the hole 
for the bolt with a standard drill bit like this. Now because your spade bit has got this pointed edge here, it means that you've got a perfect locator for your drill. So there we go, one sunken hole. So we can just put the bolt in here like this. That's a little bit tight for the actual thread of the bolt, but look, you can see there that that sunk really nicely. And a lot of the time you'll see this kind of thing on kind of outdoor gates where they're using these sort of bits of timber for the gate jams, the, the bit of timber that goes down the side of the wall to hang the gate off. So what can happen if you drill the hole through first with this and then decide you want to open it up so you can sink the bolt. So we'll put the spade bit back in. See that's going to wobble around in there now. Now it's quite wide on the end of this spade bit but this hole is bigger than the width of this pointy bit so actually trying to get it started you know it'll get going eventually but it's just too rough you can see there it's jumping about all over the shop and these spade bits are really sharp see so we've got to go through with the spade bit first then go through with your drill bit now you can use a spade bit for drilling a hole right through a piece of timber but just look what happens Hmm, it drilled through really quick, but look at the edge of this, look at this hole, it's broken out. Now this is a really sharp bit and a really good bit, so it hasn't done too much damage, but you can end up doing a lot of damage on this side when you break through. So this is a really common mistake that people make when using a spade bit for drilling a hole all the way through a piece of timber. But check this out, this is how you avoid it. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start drilling through. Well, what I'm going to do, as soon as we've made a hole here with the tip of the spade bit, I'm now going to drill it from this side. Here's where it's come through. Put the end of that in. And... So there we go, look at that. Nice and clean on this side, and nice and clean on this side. So as I've said already, you can get these in a range of different sizes. So here, this set, we've got a 12, 16, 18, 20, 22, 25, 28, and 32. Here we've got 10, 13, 16, 20, 22, 25, 32. And here's just some of... Uh, my older spade bits which I just have lying around and these are 13, 16, 20, 22 and 32. So you get a bit of an idea that they're, some of them are pretty standard sizes. And so here's a, an old one as well. This is completely flat on the top here apart from the point and it's just got a hex bit so we couldn't actually put that in an impact driver and even cheaper here we've got a completely round shank and flat on the end here so uh, that's a pretty cheap one that and uh, it's probably one of my earliest spade bits well that's it from me I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful and uh, hopefully you're gonna go out there now and start buying and using some spade bits let me know how you get on if you've got any questions or comments just uh, stick them in the box below. Remember to like it, share it and smash that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.